Hey folks, Carter again. I want to do a remake of my of the video I made for Community Offline Mode and Expansion Comp. Try and explain them both a bit better this time. Was never really happy with that old video, so I'll try to do an updated version of it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to download the mission files for Expansion Comp and the Daisy Community Offline Mode. So I'll leave a link to both of these GitHubs in the video. First thing is expansion, so I'll just make a I'll make a folder to save them to. I'll make that bigger so you can see. So I'll make a new folder. Call it anything, it doesn't matter, it's not it's only for storing them in. I'll close that down for the mi minute. Then we'll go back to the site. You want to go on to the expansion missions. There are your settings, expansion settings. So, say you had a server running, it'd be more for if you had a server run. But if you had a server running and they changed a specific setting file and you didn't want to change the whole mod on your server, you could go in and extract a certain file that you want and upload it to your server without having to do the whole mod, you know. But anyway, we don't need that. We're going into the missions. We want our expansion, Daisy expansion missions. We simply your expansion dot generis, expansion dot chemise, expansion dot all, all those are mission files for online multiplayer. So if you had a server, you'd, you'd be installing those on the server to play the, those specific maps. And then the expansion com dot generis, com dot chemise, com dot deerile, and so forth are for your offline mode, community offline mode, expansion community offline mode. So if you wanted to play one of those maps, you, r you run the .bat file in, in inside the folder. So we want to download the missions. We'll just take the whole lot of them. We download zip. You can download 7-zip, use that or another similar program that does the same thing. So I just want to open it. Automatically highlight the folder with the missions themselves in it. Now I'm going to copy it into the folder that we just made. Which was a uh, com missions. So we extract that into the folder. There we go. We can close that down now for the moment. We want to go to Arkansas Daisy Community Offline mode. Same again, there's your missions. As you see, it comes provided with three templates pre made for the three missions Chinara, Zenuk, and Namalsk. So we just want to do the same again go to the main page, hit on the code, download zip, open it with 7zip, and then same again, highlight the missions. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Highlight the missions, go to copy, could have done it that way either. And then highlight the folder we just made for it. Com missions. Extract it to the folder. There we go. We can close down 7-zip. We don't need it. We don't need these sites anymore. Read up. They do give you a full explanation on how they work and how to install them if you want to scroll down through them. Very helpful. Same with the expansion. They have a whole wiki for everything. It's pretty cool. Very helpful. So once we've downloaded them, then we want to go to our main ga game folder, your root folder for your game on your PC. So we'll open it up. Usually people will have them stored in their C folder, but I have a specific a specific drive for, for my game. So I go to, to my games drive, and then I go to Steam library, Steam apps, common daisy and down the bottom you should have a missions folder which will contain the daisy offline dot plus file folder so most cases you should have one if you don't have one hold on if you don't have one you can easily make one so we'll just take a copy of that there for the moment we want to delete that Right. 
simply to get to get your the name of the folder all you want to do is go to where you downloaded those missions there a moment ago to the folder you downloaded them to call missions go into your community offline mode go into the missions go into any one of them it won't matter go to the run.bat file edit it with notepad plus plus and there's your command prompt for your mission so is C minus mission equals dot missions folder and then it's going to take the daisy community offline mode dot generis plus from from that missions folder so what we want to do is take the missions it's case sensitive so you want to make sure you're getting it right we copy that we can close that down now for the moment we go back to to where we were making our, our main <coughs> our main game folder root folder for our main game on our PC I'll enlarge that and we simply just want to create a folder new folder and name it missions and there's your missions folder it's case sensitive so you want to make sure you've named it correctly or else the machine won't know where what file to go what folder to go to, to source the actual mission folders you know mission files so once you do that we can open up the missions folder we'll minimize that now we'll take up our daisy community offline mode as you can see we've got our missions in here this is the folder we saved our missions to after downloading them so i want to go in we'll start with our either one it doesn't matter because we're going to copy both of them so we'll go into our missions there's our three missions that community offline mo mode provide we'll copy them over to our missions folder and we just paste it into the missions folder and we got that done we go back to the folder that we saved the fo folders into the missions into this time we'll go into the expansion missions I'll enlarge that so you can see it a bit better simply now we just want to take the, the mission files you could take the specific mission files that you want but I'm just going to take the whole lot of them copy them go over to our mission folder and paste them in there you never know when you might want to change a map or do a different one you know or make another one or whatever so at least you have them there if you ever want to change try an offline mode on a different map that's as simple as it is if you wanted to run the community offline mode so we can close them we don't need those missions anymore the folder with the missions in it so simply now if you wanted to run expansion say expansion doc expansion com which would be community offline on Chinaris plus which will give you all the abilities of the game and having community online tools and expansion and that installed on the server but it's you're not online you'll be playing it on your own machine so nobody can join you or anything and then the other mission files oh sorry the other mission files which were community offline mode they're actually map editors so you can add items to the world and take that data and then add it to your add it to the files of your server and make, make those items spawn in the actual online world so it comes provided with three maps Chinaris, Enoch which is Livonia and the Malsk so say for instance we don't we don't have a one for Deer Isle there. If Deer Isle is a map that I want to pl play some of, I have not played much of Deer Isle. So we'll take the Daisy Community Offline Mode dot Chinaris Plus, the basic file. We want to copy that, and then we want to duplicate it in our missions folder. So that's our copy of it. You want to, even if you're making a copy and you're and you're putting it over in say you want to make a deer oil one and you make a deer oil one and add it in 
you'll still have to add the original Chinaris Plus in. You'll need to tune them in in order to run the deer oil. Plus other steps that I'm going to go through now. So once you do that then, say we want we wanted to name this deer oil, we could go into our actual, we could go into our folder for our actual, actually it should be there. We go into our workshop folder. As you can see, we can go to the deer oil mod. There we go. Clicking it once, then clicking it again to highlight the name. We'll copy that. I want to go back down to our missions folder. This one we just made, we want to change the name of it to copy. So we want to take that out, get rid of the Chinaris plus slash copy, and we want to paste in our deer oil, at deer oil, but we'll get rid of the at, because we don't need the at in it, you just want dot deer oil. So once you do that, save the file like that, then you want to click into it, you want to go down to the run.bat file, click into it, edit it with Noplad, and at the very start here, you'll see the mission parameter that it's telling which mission to use. Minus mission equals dot. And then your missions folder. And then daisy community offline mode dot chinaris plus. So it's still on the chinaris plus. So you need to change that now to reflect the mission file that you're using. So dear oil, we want to get rid of the at again. That's that corrected. Then we go to the end. Add a space. Now we want to do a uh, put it inside brackets a uh, minus mod oh equals exclamation point this is word sensitive so we'll we'll do it properly we'll back out of that we'll highlight the workshop copy the name of it. Once we copy that name, we'll go back to our editor. Mod equals paste. Exclamation point workshop. Forward slash. And then we want to put in our at the arrival. So, we go back again. We highlight the at the URL, copy that, back to our editor where we're editing it, put in our at the URL, and that's your mod parameter now, finish it with a semicolon, and then inside its bracket, there you go, there's your mod parameter to run the DRL map, so if you wanted to take a another mod and add it then into the actual deer oil so we'll copy that command and we'll duplicate it on the end and we'll duplicate it again and we'll go back to our workshop and we'll take another Mods, they say we want to take rearmored. I don't know if there's any dependency on this. So we'll take rearmored armor weapon pack, copy the name of it, go back to our editor, highlight the second mod, mod command at the URL, and paste in the name of our remastered armor weapon pack. Make sure you don't get rid of any of the semicolons as they are very important. Once you do that, you go for your next mod. Say we want the uh, CPB weapons, so we'll just copy the name of the mod. Back to our editor. Highlight that at the URL at the end. Taste. 
I've always found it to work best with the map loading in first and then all mods to follow it. So just make sure you're leaving those semicolons in between each mod and put one at the end as well. So those there those are those three mods loading in. We can exit out of that and save it. We wanna go now, we wanna get the name of Tear Oil again. Wanna copy that name again. Because we're nearly done. We wanna now go oh, go back to our mission folder again. We wanna take the Deer Oil that we're just editing, go into it, edit the init.c file with notepad plus plus. And up the very top you'll see again include current directory missions, telling it to go to the missions folder and then to use the offline dot chinaris plus. So same applies again, we need to change that to reflect the mod or the map that we're using. So we'll highlight the chinaris plus, paste in at the oil, get rid of the at. And there you go. And we close that. You would use the init.c file now if you were going to load items in. You'd put them in, you get rid of them in beta we trust. Load them in there. And it'll load the items in when next time you spawn in. So we can close that now. We've saved that. So just go over the .bat file again just to make sure we're understanding. The mission parameter going to DRL. Workshop going to load the oil, then remaster the armor weapon pack, and then CBP weapons. So we can close that. That's all good. Ah. There's all our missions in. They're all ready to, ready to go, including our new one that we made for the oil. If we wanted to make one, say, for Chimsy, we could we could simply just do the exact same steps as we done for the oil there, except we'd be using the command name for Chimsy for the mod command name for Chim Z instead of, instead of DRL. So when, once you do that, you, you can run your your community offline mode or you can run your expansion comp, which it'll give you. So we'll, we'll do both on, on DRL. We just double left click on the .bat file and it'll automatically run the game for you uh, offline. I'll just show you quickly if all, all the normal controls as community online tools has in that, except it's just offline. Uh, they're mostly really for online play, for admins and that. I'll just show you the difference quickly. Uh, 